last night. Riri overcast day today. I'm not going to let that ruin my spirits. We have a great day planned for today. Hopefully I'll be able to share it with you. Let's see what happens. We're emu spotting. Can you spot any emus? been like 50 along this road in the last one 10 there. minutes. There's one two there. So can you see them? Yeah, two there, I can see them. Look, one, two there. Here we are coming into Kanamoa. The roads are all open, thank goodness. Okay, okay, going for a wander in Kanamoa. Look at the little emus. Aren't they cute? They're easy to spot. Oh, look at that bird. Right spiders. That's quite cute. It's very bright, cheery. I'll take you down and show you. There's a koala. He's cute. So this is our surprise. We've come to Charlotte Plains to come to the hot artesian ball and enjoy some beautiful singles. Please enjoy. And me too. What a call is to hop in this park. That's warm. Oh, yeah. Hot, hot, yes. Real hot. Oh, here we go, we can have a bath. Try the one. Huh? Try the one. And then we can enjoy the views. Good idea. Wow, this is very different. I'll very different in indeed. I'll pull them back. And Charlotte Plains. Charlotte Plains. Really cool. What's the water like? Warm. <laughs> Beautiful. It is. Over and out. We didn't let the weather dampen our spirits while at Charlotte Plains. We enjoyed their free baths they offered, the beautiful surrounds, the lovely hot water coming directly from the hot artesian basin and the sunsets were beautiful. We really did enjoy our time there. It's definitely a recommendation from us. Welcome to another beautiful day on the road. Today we are heading for New South Wales. This is Angonia. Cute little town. banks of the Darling River. What else do you do on a beautiful Saturday afternoon? Look at the view. He's going to try his luck at Yabin.
you're supposed to pull him out with the meat. This is the road into Mays Bend. I wouldn't come in here if you've had a bit of rain. It's not bad because it's dry at the moment. This is Burke Historical Cemetery. <laughs> I spoke to a local out the front and he says Fred Hollows' fingernail is here. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go find where his fingernail's buried. Apparently it's up here where these rocks are. It was a very tastefully done memorial for the wonderful Fred Hollows. Um, if you're in the area, you should pop by and see it. A quick morning stop on a gravel pit on the side of the road and we grabbed some firewood for tonight. It'll keep our backsides warm tonight, won't it? Absolutely. Something <laughs> for us to do, yeah? Yeah. There is a lot of goats out here. lookout it's not far from town and it's got some really interesting information and oh my goodness the view is absolutely crazy that is so deep down there it's really really interesting open cut mine and it's definitely worth the stopover to have a look at it So this is the free camping spot at Cobar Old Reservoir. Heaps of space around here. Heaps of space for lots of vans. There's lots of fire pits already made. It's really, really pretty. Nice place to stop. And we've been on bitumen for a while now, so now it's time for the adventurous side of us to come out. And we're going to go down the wool track towards Ivanhoe. Now, the first little bit of it, I believe, is sealed. But then we'll get onto some dirt stuff and hopefully he can go for a ride on his bike. It's 232 to Ivanhoe, 222 to unsealed roads. 
survive to conditions closed when wet. Oh, it's not wet. It's 222. Closed when wet. Imagine there's a bit there. It's coming out of the water. Can you see all the little black marks? Oh, there goes one running. There you go. Through the scrub, it's a whole family of wild pigs. And there they go. Let's have some wildlife today. What an interesting day. When you take the side tracks, you get to see so much more. Wild boars, lots, hundreds and hundreds of goats, goats some kangaroos, emus, emus, everything. You've seen. seen the camels.
pretty is this? The banks of the Murrumbidgee River in Balwanald. Beautiful. These big trees, huge. Look what he found. Some exercise equipment. Warning, harmful algae may be present in this water. Contact may cause serious harm to humans and animals. Just doing a couple of bench presses. I need to get back into the gym, I think. Need to get into the gym? I'll do something. Here we are, Houston. Not, not Houston, Texas. Houston, New South Wales. We're about to cross over into Victoria for the first time in nine weeks. Victoria and we're heading to the Hatter Desert Race before we head home. Hope to catch you again next week. Bye.